Welcome back, everyone. The quest continues in England, where it's time to ride the oldest native pony breed in Britain. This is number 45. So we are here at the Exmoor Pony Centre in Exmoor National Park, which is in southwest England. Exmoor ponies are an endangered breed, and many of them still live semi-wild out on the moor. Every year there's a roundup where ponies are brought in for inspections and some are sold. Unfortunately, many of the foals, mostly colts, were not finding homes. So the charity at the Exmoor Pony Centre was started to help the foals find a new future. To date, they have helped over 500 Exmoor ponies. Hey, darling. He's such a sweetie. Um, so he's just started being ridden by a few other people now, okay. but um, we've got to do a few more hours on the clock and then hopefully he can join our trekking Aww. team. He's got the right attitude. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Then it was time to get ready for our ride out to the moor. This is a big group of, of little ones out on Vol Hill and there's sort of a massive herd okay. with at least seven foals, awesome. all little babies. So that would be quite cool to go and find. It was a quick ride through the fields out to the moor, where it didn't take us long to find the ponies. There are 19 different herds in various areas of Exmoor. We visited the anchor herd, which can easily be recognized by the anchor symbol on their hip. For Fleeter, the gelding I was riding, it was a trip back to where he was born and a great family reunion. it is important to close all of the gates that you have opened to get through, as this helps to keep the ponies in the areas where they're supposed to be. The Exmoor National Park covers 267 square miles. It was once a royal forest and hunting ground, and is an absolutely breathtaking place to visit. The yellow shrubs are called gorse. They're a tough, prickly, evergreen shrub that flowers in the summer and has a unique smell. Oh, oh, are you smelling it too? No, don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell like coconut. Yeah. The ponies are able to eat and digest this tough plant, which is one of the reasons they are used frequently for conservation grazing. On our way back to the Exmoor Pony Center, we got to spend a little more time observing the mares and foals that called his place home. My favorite part about the ride today was probably getting out onto the moor and actually seeing the babies where where the breed originated and Exmoor babies are so adorable. Then it was time to move on and we even spotted some ponies on our way out of the park. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
We drove into a small town called Withypool and decided to stop at a tea room for lunch. What we got suggested is cream tea. And I have to admit, I thought the cream was gonna go in the tea. I had no idea it was gonna look like this. This is strawberry jam. Okay. And this is waterberry jam. Okay, awesome. And clotted cream, now. <laughs> and do you put this in your tea? Or no. on the... Okay, so this, this goes on the scone. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, not in the tea. Okay. It's called a cream tea just okay. because it comes because with it. Because it tea. comes with it, okay. Um, so the, there's a, a sort of a debate between Devon and Cornwall as to whether you put the jam on first oh. and then the cream on the top. Okay. Or the cream on first and the jam on the top. Mm. Now you're actually in Somerset, so you can do what you like. Uh, <laughs> thank Perfect. goodness. Thank So you're supposed to put, I'm going to try this one first, and you're supposed to put jam onto it. And I'm not sure which part of the country I'm offending by doing it in this order. And I still don't understand what this is but it's really, really good. From there, it was time to head southwest to Cornwall to continue the adventure. We are in Cornwall and we found an awesome little Airbnb uh, that we're staying at just up the hill. And so we're actually walking down to get some dinner this evening. The trip has been incredible. And I love this place.